Hey guys, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? So today we're going to talk about a bead leak or a leak in your tire. You got a leak in your tire and there's no nails in it. You don't see any nails poking out anywhere, but you got a slow leak somewhere. So what I usually do is I'll take some sort of soap. You can take dish soap. Um, I got some dollar store soap. I actually mixed with a little bit of water. We got a lot of foaming bubbles here on the top. Shake it up a little bit. And you can actually use a little spray bottle if you want. You can get, I, uh, I have this Armor All uh, glass cleaner spray bottle that I've actually put some of these suds in here. Shake it up a little bit. And you just want to spray around the, spray around this bead and see if you see anything, any bubbles. You see any bubbles anywhere, check your valve stem. Spray around there, see if you see any bubbles. Check around both sides. I'm gonna check this one. This one was, so we don't see any bubbles popping up. I'm just gonna spray a little bit along here and see if we see any bubbles. And you don't see anything bubbling up. See that right there, that is slightly bubbling up. So we may have a leak right there on the bead. And so if we look around this other side a little bit. Yeah, see right there we've got a little bit of a leak on the bead. Look around this other side. Got a little bit of a leak here too. So... This one's got a little bit of a leak and what you can do and so this video is for informational purposes only uh, use at your own risk um, you can take like a, uh, a mallet and just pound it on the edge here so you push the push the bead back a little bit so you push it back so it resets And you can see that pretty much stopped the leak. It doesn't seem to be bubbling, foaming up anymore. And then we had one over here by the weight. So take this right here. You can see it's bubbling up right there. And you just take like a mallet, or in this case, you got the lug wrench, and just kind of pound it so that it reseats and it looks like it's no it's still bubbling a little bit still bubbling a little bit right by that weight and then we can see this one start bubbling again so this other one start bubbling again And so what we're going to have to do is keep pounding until it stops. And check your bubbles. Spray along there again. And actually it moved. So it moved from here to here now. And we still have a little bit of bubbles action here. So, sometimes you actually have to remove the tire and put bead sealer, clean the bead inside here, clean it, and then put it back on, put the tire back on. It's kind of a lot of work. But, what you can try, another thing to try is to put that stop leak inside your tire. So basically, if you look at your valve here's your valve right here so so basically if you buy some of this stuff this is the slime stop leak um, this is a small bottle I have some on sale uh, Walmart clearance normally six nine six ninety six this is getting pretty expensive nowadays um, and actually, see, this doesn't say for regular tires because they don't want to uh, take the liability for uh, regular passenger vehicle tires. Um, so basically, this cap has a 
tool to remove the uh, valve core. So if you take this, you can see this is the tool for the, this is the valve core remover. You stick your valve core remover inside and unscrew it. It's lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now I've already done this one. I put a little bit, I had like a half, well I had a third left in this and I poured a third in here. What I'm probably going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to buy some more. Now it's always a good idea to, so the way I put this one in is I remove the core, let all the air out. Then you take your goop and you put your goop in there, right? And then you put your valve core back in and then you fully, uh, fully uh, inflate it. This is supposed to be 35 PSI and so what I did is I <laughs> I put only 25 PSI in this one because uh, my uh, 12 volt inflator uh, sort of petered out at about 25 volts it always excuse me 25 pounds it always does that but uh, anyway it's a good idea to max the the pressure out so if you got says 35 pounds you put 35 pounds in and then once you get your goop in there and you get it totally inflated then what you want to do is you want to bounce it around so you take this thing you sort of like bounce it like a basically you bounce it like a basketball okay and I'll show you here in a minute. So you can set this camera down. And so basically you want to bounce this thing. You want to bounce it all around so that it puts pressure and resets that bead. And you may find that it just sealed itself up uh, as it resets the bead. So I'll give that a try. That might work. Okay, so it uh, looks like after bouncing this thing around, we have no no more leaks. So we used to have bubbles here. We don't have bubbles there now, right? And we check the other areas. And we don't have no bubbles. So this one should be good. So once again, I did put some slime in it the blind slime um, bounced it around quite a bit I put actually a third only a third a can of this in here um, and it's actually not fully inflated it's only got like 25 psi in it but it seems to be good now so uh, that's your quick wheel fix hope it works for you for you and that's the way I do it Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Adios, amigos.